Cameron said, Sean O'Malley's championship reign will not last more than one defense. Cameron, you are wrong. I will knock Cheeto out in March. Is, Is that, that it? it? Ryan Garcia responds to Sean O'Malley's boxing claims. You'll just get knocked out. And I said, like you did, or different. And he said, uh, boxing and MMA are two different sports. And if you need a reminder, let me know. I'll gladly do a tune-up for my return fight. Well, Ryan's coming off a loss. I'm looking for winners. And I'd like to box someday. I get a lot of hate for saying that, but I don't really understand why. Boxing is just a super limited form of, of fighting. Sweet sport, not as cool. Look at this timing. Something magical happened that night in Boston. That whole fight week, there was some magic spinning in the air and put that magic right into Aljo's chin and Boston will forever be something special. Sports World reacts to Sean O'Malley's stunning upset over Aljamain Sterling at UFC 292. Kevin Durant says, Sugar Sean, really a different beast. Salute that man. That was cool. That was really cool. This guy said who? I'm not really sure what he was referring to there. Dylan Dennis. Dildo Dennis said, I can't even hate. That was beautiful. I know we have our beef, but that was a work of art. Congratulations, Sean O'Malley. It was an excellent performance. It's hard to hate on that. Even, even Dildo Dennis can agree. Never mind, that was an early stoppage. <sighs> I mean, I don't really have anything to say. Everyone watched Logan versus Dylan. So for me to say anything mean would just be a bully because it was so embarrassing that if I was to talk shit, I would, I would look like a bully because how bad he looked in that fight against Logan. So I'm not gonna say anything mean about how bad he looked. Should Sean O'Malley and Aljamain Sterling have a rematch? No, we shouldn't. I knocked you out in the second round. Move up to 145. Good luck in your future. No, full swing jab. Backhand. Uppercut knee. Put the hat on his eyes. Travel behind him. Laugh my ass off. This is the worst self-defense tutorial I've ever seen. What is he thinking? Actually, I was making a couple videos where it was kind of borderline. They didn't know if I was being serious or not. They were supposed to be funny, but some guys, funny man, 6549, took it uh, literal. I will choose how to finish him. He dismisses Sean O'Malley as a threat as he eyes UFC bantamweight title. Yeah, Umar's definitely a dangerous opponent. I think he just has an issue getting two fights. I think he's fought one time in the last like three years. Who knows if it's diet or if it's just training schedule, takes confidence to take a day off. Some of those guys just go hard every day. Uh, it shows a level of intelligence and they're stupid. Shitty tattoos. Sean O'Malley gets a self-portrait of himself on his neck. I don't ever really have plans on tattoos. I just kind of get them when I think about them. Sometimes I regret it, sometimes I don't. This one, I actually never see it. So I always forget about it. I was in California, dude hit me up, just went and got it. It was after a fight, hit a little jump shot. And I, yeah, I don't know. Next, Shakur Stevenson, MMA fighter, wants smoke. I'll beat the shit out of O'Malley. I've never watched him fight. I guess I don't know his record. I'm assuming he's undefeated. I get it, you know, I'm talking shit, so they gotta talk shit back. I, I respect boxing as a sport. I think it's a great sport, but it's just not as cool as MMA. Peter Yan said, our rematch have to happen sooner or later. I think he meant has to happen. Yeah, very well could. I mean, he's on a three fight losing streak. That's not very good. But to be honest, Peter Yan is one of the scariest dudes in the division still, even though he's coming off three losses, one of them to me. So I tweeted, UFC champ, 18 and 0, 28 years old, life is crazy. Community notes said, Sean O'Malley's professional MMA record is actually 17, 1, 0 and 1 no contest. He lost to Marlon Chido Vera by way of TKO first round at UFC 252. Ben Davis tweeted community notes, just TKO'd Sean O'Malley. The Sugar State Athletic Commission actually took that away. Not even a no contest, completely erased it from the record. So that community notes needs to be community noted under it saying that that community notes is wrong. That's a KO. Next one, UFC champion Sean O'Malley makes brash claim about his only career loss. Sugar went on to claim that the apparent setback was actually all part of his master plan to set up a rematch with the UFC bantamweight title on the line. It's correct, I'm playing chess. I lost that fight on purpose. Now it's gonna be a massive rematch. It's all going as planned. <laughs> this one says, how is Sean O'Malley making so much money? Someone explain this to me, but it seems like he's making way more money than most UFC fighters due to flying private, driving Lambos, and doing so much more, while other UFC fighters live like your average middle-class folks. I am making a lot of money. 99% of the other guys aren't. I make most of my money from brand deals, uh, my sugar shop, my merch, 
And I'm also making good money in the UFC. Put on shows like I have been. You knock people out the way I've been knocking people out. You give the UFC something to work with, you get paid in return. Boxing has absolutely been destroyed because of money and, and, and all the things that go on. It's never going to happen while I'm here. Believe me, these guys get paid what they're supposed to get paid. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people complain about, you know, getting paid. It's perspective, you know, could be worse. Could be working a nine to five that you don't like. Maturing is realizing that Sean O'Malley isn't copying clowns hair. Clowns are actually copying his hair. Been happening since the dawn of time. I thought clowns hair is just rainbows. Mine's always been a little bit different. I definitely have had clown hair before. I rock it. Updated UFC pound for pound rankings. I am, oh wow. This one says number six. How did Sean O'Malley get so high on this list? Well, I knocked out the greatest bantamweight of all time. And I guess he just threw me up there. I'm okay with it. Good God. I see an owl. God, I don't even remember seeing this tattoo. Sugar Sean O'Malley. He's brand new. That's why I didn't notice that. But we're ready for him. We're excited. And that's one bad tattoo. <laughs> that's wild. Yeah, that's uh, that was 2017 when I first fought on the Contender Series. It's gotten colored in since then. It wasn't quite done. So uh, I feel like it looks better now. Even back then, I was telling, telling Dana, doing all my interviews, saying, I'm going to be a star. I'm going to be the world champ. Just give me some time. And here we are, world champ. The next one, EA UFC 5 rating release for the best bantamweights. Sean O'Malley's skills surge after title win. Yeah, they were always kind of whack in the like other UFC games. But now, you know, they got it. Striking five, grappling four, health four and a half. Overall, four and a half. I did uh, get a secret little, I don't know if it's secret anymore, but I did get a bonus from EA saying I was one of the most used players in the game. So that was pretty cool. I mean, I wasn't surprised that I was the most used. The others are accurate, yeah. I mean, I might be a five, but next one. Dylan says the fact Sean O'Malley is from Montana is so random. Yeah, I don't really know what to comment about that. I was just born there. I do feel like when I tell people, like, where are you from, Montana, they're like, taken back by it. So I guess you could consider it random. Sean O'Malley's next fight, ranking which opponents pose the biggest risk to the new UFC champion. O'Malley has expressed interest in defending his newly won UFC bantamweight title before the year ends. Yeah, that won't happen. Called out Cheeto in December, or for December after our fight. UFC, you know, already had December planned out. So March is when I get to fight Cheeto. Cheeto's not an easy fight. I'll talk shit, say he's slow, say I'm gonna knock him out because I probably will, but he's not an easy fight. Corey Sandhagen, not an easy fight. Barab is not an easy fight, but I am very capable of knocking all of them out. All right, that was easy.